Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour of Forger on the Xbox. And um, yeah, I'm in Armour of Forger, but I want to talk about uh, a question that comes up an awful lot um, with DayZ players. And that is, will DayZ ever get Steam-like PC mods? And will it ever get admin controls as well for servers? Um, and I think the answer to this is yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> this is Armour of Forger, on Xbox and what you can see here is this black cork helicopter here and this um, Humvee with the extra sandbags and the extra big machine gun on the top these are mods made by people that um, a steam workshop like that we can uh, take in and also if I press pause ooh, on my uh, controller and go to game master I am now in um, an absolutely amazing admin mode. It's like Zeus mode from Armour 3. Um, it's, it's Game Master, so I can spawn in whatever I like. I can change things. I can add more enemies. I can put in structures. All sorts of wonderful things, which is which is a which is an admin mode. So so you know this can happen. It it does work right now on Armour Forger on Xbox, and uh, the reason why this is coming to um, Daisy eventually I'm not saying now I'm not saying in the near future I'm saying in the next couple of years is that Armour of Forger runs on the Infusion engine this beautiful engine that you can see here um, that looks really really cool um, is the newest version of the engine that Daisy run on now Daisy runs on a bit of a hodgepodge of an engine it's it's kind of um, Infusion that's that's with an E E N F U S I O N um, and virtual reality um, Real Virtuality, which is the uh, Armour engine. Um, uh, but Bohemia Interactive, the publishers and developers behind Daisy and Armour, you know, have said they moving forward, they want all their new games to be on this new engine. And I get the feeling that they probably want to license out this engine to other devs and other publishers as well, because it is incredibly powerful. Looks really good. Um, and therefore, I do not see why they wouldn't, at some time in the future, port um, Daisy over to this. Because it kind of makes sense in terms of uh, workflow um, within a studio, within a development studio. The fact that if everybody's working on the same engine, you can share assets, um, you can share skill sets, and you can share developers, can't you? Now, the other thing I would say is, even if, even if that wasn't the case, even if Bohemia Active decided, actually, it's too much hassle to try and port Daisy over, we're, we're not going to do it. We're going to leave it running on um, real uh, on the old version of N Infusion, um, and we, we're just going to leave there. Which is highly unlikely because Daisy makes Bohemia Interactive an enormous amount of money on PC and especially console. But even if they said that, what's going to happen? is that someone in the Infusion Armour, whether it be Armour of Forge or when Armour 4 comes out, community will make a DayZ mod in Infusion Armour of Forge or Armour 4, um, which you will then be able to download to your Xbox um, as part of uh, uh, Armour and play. And th th so, so it's going to happen one way or the other. Um, so let me... Let me come out of this and let me show you. So let's go into the main menu. Now remember, this is all on my Xbox, this. I just want to show you how kind of the workshop works um, in Armour Forger. So let's go to, back to the main menu. So this is the main menu. And then if we go to the workshop here, we can see these are these are all the mods. And so what the Bohemian Interactive have done with Armour Forger is instead of having the mods separately on Steam and using Steam Workshop integration, where you have to download them, which isn't available to Xbox or PlayStation. They've brought it in-game. And by bringing it in-game, it means that it can be accessible by Xbox and PlayStation, as you saw me just doing there. Um, and I think it gives them more control I think, over o over things, I think, in the workshop. I'm, I'm not quite clear on the advantages of not using the Steam Workshop. I know lots of people complain about how the Steam Workshop works um, with things like uh, all sorts of um, copyright claims and all this sort of stuff. But I'm not sure how much better having an in-game workshop is than, than the Steam Workshop. I'm not sure. Uh, other than the most obvious fact is that this is controlled by Bohemia Interactive. You know, it's their game. You know, they can control it. And so on my Xbox, I can go. And in fact, if we go down to my mod manager here, we can see these are the mods that I've currently got installed on my Xbox. 
um, and you can enable them or disable them or when you go into servers it'll enable or disable them now it's not perfect at the moment because one of the problems the Xbox has is that it's only given 10 gigabytes of storage for mods and it's very easy to, to fill that up very quickly if you if you subscribe to lots and lots of mods especially the big ones that have like the ships in or the different maps so it's early days you have to be careful about which servers you join and if you're making a server you don't have too many mods choose the mods that still work because some of them don't work anymore because obviously the game's moved on um, but there's some really good ones that including things like the helicopters better traces and, th and things like that and the different scenarios that you can use very very easily so i suspect before too long and they're already starting to appear actually there's various um, mods that are kind of taking um, um, ideas from Daisy, um, you know, survival, zombies, all that stuff. They're starting to appear already in the workshop. Before, I'd, I'd imagine over the next year or so, we will then see a Daisy-like mod in Armor of Forger on Xbox and PC um, that will probably be running on the, uh, the, the the vanilla maps. We we have two two maps for um, Reforger. You've got uh, Everon and you've got Arland is, is the slightly smaller one. But there will be survival-based uh, mechanics in that. Um, so, yeah, so that I think that's what is going to happen. So, so there we go. So if you're thinking and you've got that question, will at some time in the future, and it could be the far future, we could be talking a few years down the road, when Armour 4 um, is, is up and going, we will be seeing mods on consoles, on Xbox and, and PlayStation. Um, we will be seeing admin because you've seen it working just there and even if Bohemian Interactive took the decision, the crazy decision to not bother to upgrade Daisy to the new inversion of Infusion, what you're going to see is you're going to see in the workshop, you're going to see a Daisy mod which you'll then be playing with Armour Reforger or Armour 4 on your Xbox doing it that way, just like back in the day with Armour 2 when the Daisy mod came out, people added that so there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Hopefully that's helpful. And remember, it will be a very, very long way off. But I think it's always good to look forward to these things, isn't it? So when you're playing Daisy, you may be thinking, oh, God, I wish it wasn't so glitchy. I wish we had, you know, vehicles that were really, really good. It will be coming. It will be coming. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.